Welcome back everyone to Hogwarts Legacy. Um, I'm not sure what we have to do right now. I think we have to go see Sebastian if I remember correctly. Um, yeah. Oh shit, rewards Crucio? What? Don't we get... Wait a minute. I thought we only got those, like, the, the curses in the uh, dark arts section of our talents. I didn't know we... Oh no, we get, like... We get upgrades to them. Oh, shit. Uh... I don't know about this, Sebastian. I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know if I want to learn these, uh, these curses. Um, I guess we're gonna go meet him in the common room for Slytherin. However, before we do that, I need to drop off the unicorn that I got last episode, actually. I just realized that. And I have a lot of gear that I grabbed that I haven't, like, done anything with. Um... Yeah, there we go. I'll, I'll put the unicorn here, because this is a similar atmosphere to where I found her, so we'll keep her here, but I'm not sure if it actually makes a difference where you put the creatures. I'd assume it would, but you never know. I guess we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll deal with, um, I'll deal with my gear. Uh, I won't, I won't show that. I'll just, I'll just get straight to the common room with Sebastian. Can I not give you the brush? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. Okay. He's this way. I mean, I don't know, Sebastian. I agree with your viewpoint of like, we'll never be able to avoid it, so it's best to know what we can about it, but that doesn't mean we should utilize it. Never know who's watching, although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. <laughs> True. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. Yep. I don't know about this, Sebastian. Can I... Am I do I have to is. talk Ominous into Good it? Luck. Like, can I just... Can, can I let him convince me to let this go? What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... what was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that! He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. Hmm. Yeah. That's a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. That was easy. I hope I 
We don't regret this. Sebastian, over here. These Incendium. Are access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's three, three heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is something's happening. <laughs> I hope we're ready for this. I'm sorry I interrupted you guys. I just, I, I, I just want to get on with it. Dark, I want to get this ominous corridors. done with as My fast favorites. as possible. No comment. <laughs> Come on, that was a good one. Repair all. Okay. It looks like a locked door. We may want to look around. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. Hang on a second. Oh, Noctua. Uh, I must prove my point. We do not need to use the dark arts as my family instructs. When we reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence that there's more to Salazar Slytherin than we realize. I have written to my brother. He knows how I s access the corridor's entrance and that there's no straight path to reach the scriptorium. It's a maze with many challenges to solve. I hope that my brother will follow my lead and we can study our ancestors' legacy together. Noctua Gaunt. The journal entry. Signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. You know shit. I know. She was my aunt. You knew? And didn't tell me? Ominous. The journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's why I said this could be dangerous. Aunt Noctua kept my father informed until she vanished. Hmm. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak past the tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. I've been having second th- yeah. Believe me, I am having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I mean, you were pretty easy to persuade, I can't Ominous. I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. <laughs> Between the two of us? Oh, I... Never mind. Right, he doesn't know about the whole ancient magic thing. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Revelio. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Incendio! Look closely at each gate for clues. Hmm. So are you... Oh, I see. The dial requires focus. Aunt Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Wait. I, I don't think I'm able to figure this out just yet. I can't get out of it. I'm hitting like escape point. Uh, oh, it's on the timer. That didn't sound good. Ow! Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Um, okay. Ah, I see. The symbols are here. Um, okay. So it's like a, a circle with a crescent moon and then a inf infinite snake. All right. Uh, got it. And then... There. Matching the symbols did open it. Yeah. Right, let me take out Lumos because I'm sending it out myself. Lumos it first. <clears throat> nice work. Sure thing, Sebastian. Um Okay, this one's scratched out, but I mean it's it's not that hard. It's, it's not like I need to actually worry about any kind of confirmation. I just need to align the dials. Okay. Um is this another one? Yeah, two of five. Uh, Salazar Slytherin bared his bared this scriptorium deep with ho within Hogwarts. I'm afraid I shall lose my way around these dark corridors. I'm a descendant, and yet I feel unwelcome. 
Lighting these braziers in this corridor in the corridor is helping. I shan't lose heart. Challenge by challenge, I will make my way through. Bro. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Incendio. Lumos. You, you, you say that, but it's like, we haven't even been here for that long. Like, we just got in here and we're already at this point. Um, okay, it looks like something with a tail, I'd, I'd imagine, um, on the top, and then just like a, tri a, a right triangle with a line on top. Alright. As long as I align the bottom one, it should be easy. Another I can just flip between them, honestly. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Uh, must run in the family. There we go. There we go. Yeah, as long as you know one of the symbols, that's all you really need. Because you just spin the other dial, and, it's, and it just Another finishes dial itself. Solved. Lumos. Nice work. Okay, this is four of five. I'm going to wait until we find three. Ahead. Search each corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. Mm-hmm. I want to find, uh, I want to find number three first. Rebellion. Actually, maybe Revelia will show it to me. Uh, hmm, maybe I'm not close enough. Oh man, it is dark in here. I mean, naturally, there's no fucking light, there's no lights down here, so yeah. Makes sense. Oh, here we go. I failed the dial and it struck my face as if it were a real serpent, but I must find a way forward for my family's sake. We should not require children to conform to old traditions. That's... I, I, I enjoy that sentence. Um, this scriptorium must have proof that there's more to our legacy than meets the eye. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. Lumos! She did. And she was my favorite person in the world for it. Hmm. Okay, hang on. Uh, that dial is on the other end. I think that there was a door over here that I didn't see paired with a dial, so... Uh, extraordinary, this journey is painful but rewarding. I shall soon find the scriptorium and discover untold secrets regarding our house founder. Salazar Slytherin intended more than what we've become, I know it. Not sure references painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. Sebastian, seriously? Um, okay. I, it's like a circle with a... I, I don't know how to... Two lines at an angle coming out. Another... Okay. Not the welcoming sort, was he? Wait. Yeah. Okay, so you can't Excellent just keep spamming work. it. You have to actually step stop to for a second. Lumos. But luckily, I remember what the bottom one looked like. I spotted something ahead. One second. Uh, I'm a bit sick right now, so apologies. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again. That made no noise. And Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Crucio. Anyways, uh, I've lost hope. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only way forward is with an unforgivable curse. Even if I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Salazar Slytherin created a malicious challenge indeed. In my last correspondence to my brother, I had invited him here. Now if he looks for me alone, I've led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish we had parted on better terms. Oh my god, we have to cast Crucio on somebody? Cast it on Sebastian, it's all his fault. Fuck him. <laughs> Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here. Blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. True. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. 
Ugh. Yeah, also, couldn't she have just cast it on herself? Because you can cast spells on yourself, can't you? I remember that being a thing in... Hmm, maybe not. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. No. He should cast it. No. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? No. I mean, I'll ask him because he's more likely to listen to me, but we, we shouldn't get him to cast it. He he was fucking traumatized by by getting, uh, by being forced to cast it on a muggle in his childhood. He swore to never use it again. He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Oh my god. Like Wish I said, we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous, why don't you teach me Cru Crucio so that way you don't have to cast it, and I'll cast it on Sebastian since Lumos. he's the reason we're here in the first place, alright? Ominous, I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. <sighs> Should have known he would have told you. I thought I said I wouldn't repeat it. <sighs> and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. Actually, if you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Honestly, that's... He's actually got a point there. I didn't actually think about that, because him... Like, like I remember in Harry Potter, whenever he, whenever Harry tried to cast Crucio on Bellatrix, I think her name was, it wouldn't work because he didn't actually mean it. Um, which means, yeah, Ominous actually had to have meant it. But the question is, did he mean it because he wanted to cause harm, or did he mean it because he was scared and wanted to just be done with it? I don't know. I don't really know the extent of how that works. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Rightfully Ridiculous. so. Ridiculous. As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait. You didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast it if I have to. Oh, shit. Ooh. Hmm. This is a tough decision, actually. So... See, Percy doesn't seem like the kind of guy to delve into the dark arts. He seems to only be... <laughs> wanna... I mean, what's going through my head is that he only is here because... He wants to help his friend, right? He's a good friend, and he wants to help him and Anne, but... There's certain lines that he won't cross, and I feel like the Dark Arts is definitely one of them. So I don't want to learn it. Because I'm not going to use it anyways. Not to mention I already have enough spells, so I don't need any more on my fucking bars. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I joked about using the Cruciatus Curse on Sebastian since he's the reason we're here. But that would mean I would have to learn it, which, yeah. Um... I don't want to learn the curse, but I can handle the pain. It's fine. Cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Ready? Oh god. I'm ready. Holy shit. Whoa. 
are you all right? That pain, it was excruciating. But I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. Oh, I can't believe we're here. Ooh, chest. Nice. Revelio. Well, that was... Oh, hello. <laughs> that was over way faster than I thought. Also, yeah, at least it's nothing like... At least it's just pain. I mean, probably the most excruciating pain a human being can feel. I mean, I guess that's the whole point of the spell, but... At least at a certain point, it's over. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. Ah, uh, sure. Man, I'm I'm sure that that's not the only time that you can like, like I'm sure that after this quest is over, like you can go to Sebastian or something and be like, hey, can you teach me Crucio? Like, I'm sure that you can change your mind. Revelio. I doubt that it's just... That's it. Um, but I'm not gonna get... I'm not gonna learn that spell. Uh, I fear we shall never come to an accord. I cannot persuade even one of them to listen to reason. I had dared hope that Godric's thoughts were aligned with my own, that he understood why the caliber of student needed to be exceptional, but he has fallen prey to the ridiculous notion that Muggleborns are somehow as capable as pure but, uh, as pure bloods. Uh, he was furious when I expressed my displeasure at his thoughts on the matter, thoughts he had not yet put voice to. I tire of the discord and can no longer bear witness to the corridors full of inept children masquerading as witches and wizards. Jesus. Uh, it is with a heavy, or it is with heavy heart that I now know I must go from here. I shall place this, I shall place the creature in a deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who shares my views, a descendant Willing to reverse the damage that the others have so carelessly wrought, one who shall rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that would serve only to stain my legacy. Yep, that's the basilisk that he's talking about in the Chamber of Secrets. Yep. Eh. What do you think? Looks like a spellbook of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spellbook? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without Rebellion. both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. I'm with Ominous on this. Lumos. You, Sebastian is not taking this nearly as seriously as he should be. Especially considering he just cast an unforgivable curse. I see a way out. Best <laughs> news I've heard all day. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Oh, man. Also, swear to never have or do anything related to the dark arts again. I can't really do that considering I'm fighting dark wizards, but I get what you mean. Ah, okay. Well, that's that. I'm glad I didn't have to learn Crucio because it would be a little bit weird <laughs> if you were kind of just forced into it without having any say. I found that a little bit weird. Like, I was like, oh, really? Oh, shit, I can't room here. Um... I was like, oh, really? You get Grushio over doing this quest? But I I guess you can choose. And again, I'm, I'm assuming you could go back to Sebastian and have him teach you, but... Again, Percy is not that kind of wizard. However, now that that's past us, let's check out what other quests we have. Um, that is challenges. Whoops. We have... 
I'm I, I, there's a lot of there's 10 quests or 20 or there's 10 main quests in the game if I remember correctly oh there's also one assignment uh yeah 10 main quests um up here I think this is one two three four five six seven yeah so there's seven main quests I think this is in winter because every time I finish this list it switches to a new season so I guess these are all the main quests in winter and then after winter's over we'll have three more um but yeah oh this this quest gives us a conjuration spellcraft I when I was selling off all my gear before going to Sebastian I also stopped by tomes and scrolls and got like the last two spellcrafts that were there it was like a dung composter and like medium potion spellcraft or something like that um but yeah i think we'll do this we'll meet up with serona and i guess we can also continue with the moon quest and see what this was all about <laughs> um there's still more there's still more moons left in the map so i'm not sure if this is gonna like get rid of them all or what but i guess we'll see however let's go to serona first hello serona i received your owl how are you Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? Uh, yeah. I did, thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ramrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. Then I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I, of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, uh, full of old letters and such. <laughs> uh, sure. Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wigan World potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying traveling vendors with Wigan World Potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Hmm. Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends you're welcome to take a peek inside if you do find it to be honest I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories I'll try to go and see her when I can it would mean the world to me and to Dorothy Aiden was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it you'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade please do give Dot my love of course. I I went to Upper Hogsmeade or Hogsfield. I went up I went up there um before whenever I was doing I think last episode when I was waiting for the Thestrals to finish mating. Um and I cleared it out. I got like the moon and the and the whatnot up there, so I think I have flu flames. Yeah. Alright. Well, let's head there. Hmm. Seems a pleasant. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Um... Do I know something about this? Well, I, I, I'm not here for that. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh! Dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigan World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. 
If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. I already have a bunch. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Sirona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Sirona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Um, I already gave you the hawk clumps, but whatever. Sirona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. <laughs> Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden, learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Hmm. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed, and yet remain the same. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk clumps. I... And the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. Didn't I just give you the horklumps? Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. What do you... who? Is this a... oh, I see. It's a different quest. Yeah. Oh, okay, you get a conjuration spellcraft, you get wand handles. Oh, okay. I see. All right, okay. So these are quests that are on the map, but they're not in my like actual book, which is interesting. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do those ones because there's, there's a lot of them. So I might do them another time, but since there's so many of them, I, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just deal with going with the quests that are in my actual book, in my actual field guide. Or Glump Hollow. I still need to visit the cave to find Sirona's box of letters. Better have a look around. See about the Hawk Clumps and the box of letters. That's all the Hawk Clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Percy, we already gave her the Hawk Clumps. Why are, What is with this? I mean, I'm, I'm still picking up because might as well, but, you know. Whoa. What is the deal with that cage? Hmm. What is this place? Oh. Either I'll have to fight that troll. Shit. Or uh, hit a troll with its own boulder. I don't know what that means, but. Arrest right, big guys don't get affected by spells like that. Okay, ow. Expelliarmus. And get fucked. You are taking like no damage. Nope. Fuck you. Oh shit. That's what it means by hitting with its own holder. Okay. That's good to know. No, what? I was holding the, the dodge. Come on. Ah! Holy shit. 
How do we? I I don't know how to do that. But fuck that. <laughs> I like that one where you just smack it in the face. No, that disappeared. All right, he's almost down. And that was dumb of me. I wanted to get Incendio off on him. Oh shit! Hang on. I'm gonna try and wait until he throws a boulder. Okay, I was spamming Z because I thought that's how you would do that, but I guess not. I don't know how you do that. Unless foul hulking brute. Indeed. I mean, we kind of did just barge into his home and kill him, but you know, whatever. Ooh, I really don't know how I was supposed to hit it with his own boulder. I'm sure that there was like some kind of spell I could use, but. Salazar Slytherin spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. You got it. It better not be another fucking curse that you're about to convince me to learn. Uh, dear Serona, when I arrived here I had tr a troubling sense that in many ways I wasn't like the other first years. Uh, I confess I worried that Hogwarts might not have been, a, been the proper pace for me, and I pondered uh, sending an owl to my parents asking them to fetch me almost before the first week of classes had ended. How did you know? I presume, I presume you're not a whatever that word is, but I wonder that you seemed... But I wonder that you seemed to know my thoughts better than I did myself. That day in the Three Broomsticks when you spotted me huddled in a corner staring blankly at an untouched butterbeer and an empty bit of parchment, my quill dripping ink woefully onto the floor and you came to sit with me, well, I shall never forget it. That's a very... <laughs> this is a very casual letter and then just it turns into poetry out of nowhere. <laughs> Uh, I recall a sudden sense of relief, as if someone had cast a levitation charm on me. When you told me how, to, how nervous you'd been to come to Hogwarts, uh, I looked at you and it seemed beyond my imagination to think of you as anything but the confident, contented witch sitting before me. In the days that followed, I marveled at how you charmed, in the non-magical sense I mean, everyone around you without apology, embracing who you were and who they were. It was as though a candle had flickered on for me. I realized that I could choose that path as well. Now that my school years are ending, the frightened first year of which I had been seems worlds away. And I know it's because you saw yourself in that despairing creature in the corner of the pub and so generously extended yourself to her. Yours sincerely, Mirabelle. P.S. Please tell Mrs. Sprottle that I still plan on visiting her and Mr. Sprottle whenever I can. For their delightful conversation and, I am unashamed to admit, their incomparable cauldron cakes. Dear Serona, I conjured this wee gift for you as a token of my gratitude. If you hadn't stood your ground on my behalf during Quidditch practice last week, I might have left the team altogether, and now we've won the Quidditch Cup. Ravenclaw House would not be the same without you, yours sincerely, Sean. My dear Serona, I've sent a note separately to m dear Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle for their hospitality, but felt the need to put the quill or put quill to parchment with my thanks to you as well. What a lovely respite from the castle. I won't soon forget how we giggled about that ridiculous gnome. Did he truly believe that he was singing? And for Mr. S or for Mrs. Sprottle's steak and kidney pie was simply gorgeous. Uh, I shall be dreaming of it for days. I so appreciate you including me. I fear I must warn you, however, that this does not mean I will go easy on you in next week's match. You know that Ravenclaw is no match at all for Slytherin this year. Most, ja most gratefully yours, Philomena. I think that's what that says. Oh, one more over here. Or two more. Uh, dear Serona, happy bur- happy- Oh god, I can't speak. Uh, happy birthday, my darling friend. I sneaked into the key- to the kitchens and asked Finky to make your favorite, uh, cream crack. Crowdy. Uh, she was delighted to oblige. Not sure when she got uh, raspberries at this time of year. Genius, that Finky. Yes. Dear Mrs. Brottle, mother and father were delighted to hear that you and I had spent the afternoon at Gladrags last Saturday. Truth be told, I think my mother was ever so slightly envious. 
Um, I shan't soon forget how heartily we laughed at my efforts to lace the bodice of my new dress. A challenge indeed. As is rather delicate uh, practice of properly situating a hat pin without wounding either my hat or my head. But I adore everything that we selected, and I have you to thank for now feeling like a marvelously fashionable witch. It was also a, a treat to dine at the three broomsticks without having to clear the tables. I shall own a place like that one day, mark my words. I consider myself more than lucky that you and Mr. Sproddle agreed to let me stay. I know that my parents uh, feel precisely the same way. Yours gratefully, Serona. I think that's everything. I should take this box of letters to Serona. She'll be glad to have it back. Let's go. Hello, Serona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hall clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. Uh, oh. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. Uh. One of the letters mentions Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. Was the Ravenclaw seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. <laughs> I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. We could have cheered them on together. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind. Especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. It's a good line. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> she taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... Well, got me through some challenging times, to put it mildly. Hmm. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. Cool. Oh, I got a keg shelf. Nice. Just a decoration, I'm assuming. All right. Uh, let's go to... Um, let's go to see uh, Sebastian again. Actually, let's see what the quest says. Oh, it doesn't say that it has a reward. It's just speak to him. I'm assuming it's going to be another one of those things where I just go up to him and talk to him, and then it's like, I'll speak to you later about this. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. Uh, I regret using Crucio. Why is the <laughs> why is the text like that? Um, I mean, I didn't use it. So, I mean, yeah, I'd kind of regret, <laughs> regret it because I got fucking destroyed by it, but whatever. Um... <laughs> Isn't the whole thing, though, about these curses that they actually are, like, you know, bad for you? Like, for example, I remember it being described in the Harry Potter movies that whenever somebody uses, like, Avada Kedavra, like, to kill somebody, a pe they, like, lose a piece of their soul or something like that. And obviously that's bad. <laughs> like... I feel like this is really backwards logic, like, this is not something to fucking mess with, like, this is very serious shit that, like, yeah, you do what you have to to survive, but at the same time, it's like, 
the cost of your survival should not be literally rending your soul. Uh, I don't know. I know we had to do it to open the scriptorium, but it's not something I'd want to repeat. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. Ooh. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I mean, I want Ominous to know, because between the three of us, he seems like the voice of reason. I mean, I'm trying to make Percy the voice of reason, but <laughs> I'm not really getting too many... I'm not really getting too many options to do so. Yeah. We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book, and he deserves to know what you've learned. True. You've seen how he frets about the Dark Arts. I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. <laughs> Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Damn. I am not letting this go. Well, I'm glad Ominous heard all that because I said that we should talk to him about it. <laughs> Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Wait, what? I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, nose is buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything. To do with that spell book. I mean, this is an accurate statement, but that doesn't mean that's what's important, necessarily. Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I'm glad you understand. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. You got an ominous. A lot. I yeah, I'm I'm with ominous on this. Like, I get that you want to help your sister, but da God damn it, man! There, <laughs> there, there are forces at play here beyond your understanding, and things are <sighs> meddling with the dark arts just never seems to end well. You know, it's it's just one of those things. It's like it, it just it like I don't see it ending well. Is the thing. Like, there's no way that it's just, oh yeah, let's just use these forbidden curses, these dark arts, you know, all this, you know, forbidden shit that nobody should ever use, and it'll all turn out fine. What, what, what's the worst get, that can happen? Like, no, something bad is gonna happen, and I can't just, I can't just act like uh, I'm okay with it. But anyway, I guess we have to wait before um, Sebastian speaks to us about this again, so we'll go to uh, Piers and speak to him about uh, the demigod statues, I guess. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? W you... You sent an owl to me, huh? <laughs> what do you mean, who am I? Uh... Well, this is... I mean, I'll just get down to brass tacks. They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. 
That was the idea. So you did create them? I... <sighs> yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student. Too cowardly to do it himself. <laughs> Hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Ma'am, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were an inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. <laughs> Until you started clearing them out. <laughs> Moon said... <laughs> that's funny. Moon said that, uh... There was an uninspired take, but... Yeah, um... I don't like either of these answers, actually. I mean, getting revenge... Eh. Sure, you can make the whole argument of, Oh, you're no better than them if you seek revenge, but... I'm also not sorry, because... Uh... I learned a very useful spell, so... I would be lying if I said I was sorry. So I guess I'll go with this. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. <sighs> Fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Oh. That, that's that? All right. <laughs> I, man, I, I am persuasive. Speech 100. I don't know. <laughs> I'm managing to convince people to change their ways off of, like, a single conversation. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demiguy statues. Uh, <laughs> it was your fr They did not sound like friends. Come on, Percy. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied. Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I unknown? Pigtails Piers! <laughs> I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks! Oh, we used to laugh about them! <laughs> I laugh the hardest of all! Clever, clever man. Huh? I'd no idea he was so devious! <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. What is that reaction? <laughs> okay, I think Moon is about to go fucking kill him. Uh, that, that was quite an interesting contrast to the reaction Piers gave us, but whatever. Um, I Is that the end of it? Because, I mean, the Moon's... I mean, like he said, I'm I'm free to keep collecting the moons. Uh, there's four more left in Hogwarts. I don't know where the fuck they are. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get on picking them up until way later, because holy shit, man! The last time I tried to look for the fucking moons, ugh. Okay. Um, so we still have the Summoner's Court. I I didn't know what this was the first time I saw it, but I think it's the when we were doing the charms class. Um, and we did Accio on those, like, balls. I think that's what that is, because it's the summoning charm, so Summoner's Court. And then we have Spell Combination Practice 2, which has been sitting there in my quest log forever. Um, I'm not going to do that. Th these are just extra side things. I'm, I'm not worried about those. I'll do those, like, eventually, maybe. But this is an actual quest, so I'll go and speak with Adelaide. Maybe Sebastian will hit us up. Um, we'll see. Oh, it's actually in Hogwarts. All right. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh, dear. 
You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumors that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle or am I overthinking this? Uh, I mean, if it's if it's breaking such a, a such a stern habit, then I mean, yeah. I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh, could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Uh, sure. Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... Ranrock's lot. <sighs> Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. That's nice. I take it you and your uncle are close. We are. My mother died when I was born, and I lost my father when I was five. Uncle Roland's looked after me for as long as I can remember. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls, to let me know that he's all right. Yeah, like if he's... Eh. If he's always sending owls for that reason specifically as well, like breaking that habit, that's pretty, that's pretty odd. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. No problem. How far is it? Oh, it's just over this way. I can fly there. Hell. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> Imagine I just fly up on my broom and get impaled I on those fucking Adelaide's icicles. Uncle Roland is all right. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. Is that what she said? Because uh, I don't remember her saying that. Yeah, this, um, there's definitely, also, there's definitely reason to be worried, but is, is Weasley allowed to forbid her from leaving the grounds? I, I mean, people, the students can leave the grounds whenever they want during, like, free time or whatever, can't they? I mean, obviously there's the curfew where people have, where kids have to be in bed during night hours, except for me, this for some reason. But other than that, I feel like they're allowed to leave Hogwarts, aren't they? Whatever. This be Mr. Oaks's campsite. Mm. I'm Rock's loyalist, just ahead. Yeah. Blow up a red barrel with Bombarda. Okay. Bombarda. That's. Arresto. Accio. That was meant for me. Ow. I messed up. Okay, now let's try this again. Bombarda. Cool. Now. I've been fighting since before you were born. Yeah, that's that's not really gonna matter, my guy. Made break it. Accio. Let Now to find out what happened. Here. Hell yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't for the fucking if it wasn't for me trying to manage everybody and make sure that they weren't attacking me while I was trying to get Bombarda back up, I that would have been said well. That her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. All right. Down the river and when you hit the ruins, go across. Cool. Mr. Oates' oh. trade journal. 
Red Rock's lot agreed to meet, but I do feel a tad uneasy. They amended their requests and were angry when I asked questions. I overheard some of their... I heard... I overheard some of their plan in Gobbledygook. Oh, right. So that's... So that's the language goblins speak? Gobbledygook? All right. Uh, they're after my rare metal deposits that are suited for dr or suitable for drilling. I'm afraid of upsetting them further. They seem rather volatile, and I need this transaction to happen. Perhaps we can work out a compromise. Perhaps not. Ugh. You better not be dead. Revelio. I I better not be in another quest where I go looking for somebody's fam family member and they're fucking dead, because that would suck. Also. I feel like I'm supposed to follow the trail, but I'm, I don't, it doesn't look like I'm done here. I think I'm supposed to go down the river, aren't I? Huh. Also, I just got Laceration 2, which is like a better, um, it increases the damage of Defendo, um, greatly so, I think so. Defendo. Right, probably Bombarda. There we go. I can also use Confringo, but Bombarda is cooler. What do we have here? I see more enemies on the minimap, so... Question is, are they goblins, or... Oh. What? Lumos. Oh. Okay, this is just a little hidden area that has, like, a chest in it. Nothing crazy. Okay. I guess they're above me, then. Alright. Let's get on our way, though. A crooked tree, just as the map said. A crumbling tower shouldn't be far from here. Percy, how did you spot a crooked tree in all of that, like, foliage? I didn't even- I saw no tree that looked any more interesting than the ones before, or around it. Okay. I guess this is where we're supposed to be. Cool. What do we have here? Uh, flip a troll's club into its face, disarm an enemy, keep two enemies airborne for five seconds. Hello? Call that spell I called that spell casting. Okay, <laughs> I guess that's that. Hmm. I may have more luck higher up in the keep. Yeah. I mean, we're about to fight a troll, so... I'm a little bit concerned about how this is going to go. Arrest the <laughs> that didn't go how I wanted it to, but it still worked, I guess. A ladder. That's what I need. Okay, Percy, you don't need to commentate on every single thing. Says the Rebellion. dude commentating on a video game, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> oh, there's a chest that I missed in there. Hang on. I, I, you fuck off. Just, just give me a second, alright? This is why I spam... Ooh, Venom 3. I think that's the highest tier. Actually, what am I doing? Fuck ladders. We have brooms. Hello. Accio. Okay. Percy didn't want to lock on. Hang on. Let's get let's get up there. Oh. Accio. These guys are weak. Accio. God damn it. Come out. Come on. Can't get up there. Can you peek over the corner so that way I can use Accio on you? Actually, I can just fly up to you. What am I saying? Oh, shit. Ah. <sighs> okay, that's that. Oh, hello. <laughs> um. Hit a troll with its own boulder and disarm an enemy. Well, how do I... Expelliarmus. I can't... Well, I can do one of them. No, fuck me. Uh, yep. Oh, whoops, I'm in the wrong button. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to use Protego, and then Stupefy is, like, that alternate. It has, like, an alternate use in that scenario. Okay, 
Okay, well, he's not... He's not attacking me with the boulder. Come on. There we go. Oh, no. Ah, oh, damn it. I, mean, I got locked into stupefy, so I couldn't use the... the attack. Alright, come on. Come on, big boy, do it again. There you go. Damn. Oh. <laughs> um. Oh, okay, he disappeared. <laughs> he, he got buried into the rocks there. Holy shit. Uh, okay. Well, let's get out of here. That's the wrong... Yeah, there we go. Wait, what? I think I fat fingered there. Whatever. Okay, disarm an enemy, huh? This is the on the map. Okay, you... Hang on. Um... Do you have any friends? Wait, launch a burning enemy into another enemy with the pulse. Where did the other feet go? God damn it, whatever. Incendio. <laughs> I love Arresto Momentum. They just sit there for so long. By myself. Ooh, disarming three. That's really good. That's that, that increases the damage of Expelling Armus. I need to do, um... Maybe not a whole episode, but I need to spend more time like going to these camps and like clearing them out and getting the uh okay. huh fuck you dude and just spend some time uh using oh you're still here uh getting all of the uh the spells or the, the, the spells the traits from these like bandit camps i've gotten a few of them from uh, different locations whenever I was doing the Merlin Trials. But, but you can't carry any more Wig and Weld. There's a limit? Actually, that makes sense. Cool. I just never use Wig and Weld because I never get to the point usually where I need to. All right, let's get, let's get into the depths. What will we find in here? Probably Roland, if I had to guess, which I do, and I did. Rebellion. Considering that's what we're looking for. Or who, rather. When the war is over, got the Arrest Lumos. That's the wrong bar. This is the right of those instincts for spot on. I mean, yeah, we got here and we immediately got attacked. Well, actually, that's not true. We attacked first, but, you know. Alohomora. Let's just ignore that. Okay, I'm assuming we don't need to go this way, considering we didn't actually get, um, like an alert, or an alert. We didn't see on the, on the quest in the log that we required Alohomora for this. Expelliarmus. Oh, come on. I always forget that they have to have the actual, like, weapon or whatever in their hand. Um, whenever I use Expelling Armus in order to disarm them. I always just cast it, and then I'm, I'm expecting to actually be able to use it against them. Cool. Oh, hang on a second. How do we, how do we get there? Um, oh. Akio. Ah, that's cool. Rebellion. It was highlighted, and I was like, oh, I can cast a spell on it. Nice. Mm. Oh, shit. I won't be. Percy! I will make you. Let's 
Not doing a very good job of that, my guy. <laughs> he was just sitting there taking, and he wasn't doing shit the whole time. That went well. <laughs> Man, I... I am a really powerful Boiling wizard, huh? How to open it? A, a, a boiler? Did they put him in the fucking boiler? If that's the case, why why wouldn't they just like as soon as they saw me be like, hey, drop your wand or uh, <laughs> we're gonna boil this motherfucker? I mean, if he, if he's if he's even in there, I'd assume so. Otherwise, why would Percy say anything about it? Um, hello. Here we are. Why, why does he keep doing that? I keep hitting uh, Expelliarmus and he just misses. Okay. Rebellion. That's all you guys had, really? Just a few galleons? Alright. Whatever. What's going on down here? Is this just back to where I was? No. Jeez, this place is fucking convoluted as hell. There's so many, like, Rebellion. places to look through. I don't even know where the hell I am. I'm not- I'm not going about this in any kind of methodical way. I'm just moving and hoping that I find things of interest. Um... Okay, I can't cast spells. There we go. Isn't this just back out to that corridor? No? Where the hell am I? Oh yeah, it is. Here's the corridor that I was talking about. Okay. My marker is pointing me over this way, but I want to explore a little Rebellion. bit more. Um, oh man, there's tons of shit laying around. Hang on. What do we have here? Confringo. Ah, nice. Secret room. I'm assuming I step on this, right? Yep. You needed a loading screen for that? Okay. Rebellion. All right, so I have two talent points. I'm still saving one for the uh, for the transfiguration or transformation spell. Um, Stupefy deals direct damage on impact, and then Perfect Protego releases a damaging blast. I mean, I'm gonna end up using or I'm gonna end up stupefying more because it's a little bit hard to get the timing on Protego, right? Like I just see the symbol and I'm like, oh, Protego. Obviously, it'll take a little bit of practice. I just don't use Protego very often anymore. I just usually... Okay. Um, I just usually press um, the dodge, and I don't rely on Protego at all. Because uh, dodging works on both the un like unavoidable attacks and the avoidable ones, so... It's much easier for me to just dodge instead of worrying about... Rebellion. Do I dodge or do I use Protego here? Because usually whenever I think about using Protego, I always use it and then I get hit by an unavoidable attack, so. Oh, hello. Hell yeah. Ah, it's so fun to use Glacius and then like shatter the enemy while he while they're in like Rebellion. uh in like a crowd of their friends. Since I got that upgraded, like deals damage whenever they shatter. One moment. Also, did you not hear all of the spellcasting commotion that just happened? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Oaks. I need to find Mr. Rokes's wand. Where could it be? Hmm. I mean, he just told us pretty much that it's in the boiler room. Oh, I did get all three. Right. Are there gonna be more of them? Nah. Okay. How do we open this? Wait, maybe we just follow the pipes. Hang on. Okay, no, it's not that simple. Okay, there's an upper area over here. 
Does this right side lead anywhere interesting? No, I already, I already went here, that's right. Um, but it seems like we can get across from up here. Yeah, okay. Ah, and there's a machine up here. All right, I see. Incendio. Nice. Rebellion. One way or another. Bravado. I won't oh shit, hello. No, that's the wrong guy. Okay. Well, he's dead. Infamous foe my ass. Oh shit, they have shields. That's the wrong guy. <laughs> Whoa, the game shut there for a second. Did you miss? Because I definitely did not dodge that. Ow. Oh, you. There we go. Ooh, that was fun. <laughs> Still not really much of a formidable challenge, but whatever. I'm just not realizing that it makes a weird, like, thunk sound. Huh. Okay. Okay. What do we got here? What? That's Wigan Weld? I thought... I thought the green ones were Wigan Weld. Okay, whatever. Hmm. Okay, there's an upstairs area. There was also a chest over there that I somehow missed. What the hell? Okay. I'll get... I'll be with you in a moment. Whoa. <laughs> that kind of jump scared me, I'm not gonna lie. Rune stairway. Alright. Oh, is this not where I was supposed to go? I thought for sure that the wand would be there. Maybe it is just on this in this chest. No? Oh, there's a <laughs> Look at the fucking marker. God damn it. There it is. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Revelio. Indeed. Okay. Let's get back to him. Are you good? Alright, cool. Also, who's coming? I, I've killed everybody in this place. You did it! I oh, found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. Uh, yeah, you can reward me with information. What'd you hear? You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against Wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. 
The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind, sees us all as cruel. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ranrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. <laughs> I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Oh. Mr. Rokes was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have freed him. What? Oh. <laughs> okay. He went, he apparated back to his cell and then just disappeared. All right. Ah, okay. It, does Sebastian... Is Sebastian ready to talk to me again about what's going on, or are we going to have to wait a little bit for that quest to progress again? Probably. Alright, so I think... Yeah. Um, I could continue with the main quest, but um, I... I mean, I've been doing side quest stuff this entire episode, and I think we got a little bit of time left, so... I'll do spell combination practice, and if that doesn't take long, then, it, which it probably won't, I'll go to Summoner's Court, and, uh, yeah, get these, uh, get these all finished up. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Uh, little man, I have gotten so much practice since the last time we did some practice together, so. That'd be brilliant. I'll Wonderful. be fine. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Of course. Okay. Accio, Incendio, and Levioso. Okay. So that's... Alright. Accio, Incendio, Levioso. Excellent form. Cool. Um. Oh, there we go. We also basic cast. Okay. Oh sh. Whoops. <laughs> what? I didn't cast anything. Okay. It's a bit hard to only do three. All right. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Capulso. Oh shit, I hit three. I, I hit the wrong button. Whoops. <laughs> this is actually a little bit harder than I thought, than I expected. Accio. Incendio. Oh shit. Levioso. Accio! Incendio! Cool! Good one! Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Um... Ah, eh, sure, I'll, I'll be nice. <laughs> Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Even though you won the tournament already, I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. 
Oh yeah, is that like all that we're doing with that? Hmm. Oh, I'm just now realizing if we do the summoner's court now, we get uh, 10 out of 10. We get the, we get another tier of that um, side quest challenge, huh? Cool. Um, I'm assuming it's going to have multiple matches though, so I guess we'll see about that. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of summoner's court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class, summoner's court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? All right. I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Oh shit! There's obstacles. Yeah. So something I noticed as well last time I played this is it was actually all in the wrist. Very useful. Uh kind of skill to like hit your opponent's ball off of the court hmm I can't seem to wait maybe I can oh I'm right I'm right on the edge I'm not sure if this is gonna hit his ball but let's hope it does okay I, I let go a little bit too early honestly although that might not be bad for me because he not still bad. has one right there not bad I hear Okay. Nothing to it. All right, I have a bit of an idea. I'm gonna try and use this ball to knock this one off to the side. I'm not sure how to get the angle right. I think just a little bit to the right. Akio. Oh. Okay. You're not bad at this. Akio. What? Oh shit. Try to beat that. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to knock. I'm gonna hit this ball. I mean, they're clustered together now, but I'm gonna try to hit mine and hopefully knock his off. Damn. Eh. Lucky shot. Wait, did I win? I won! I didn't hit it with enough force. Damn. That's harder with the obstacles on there. We should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? Oh, yeah. I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Uh... Here. Hmm. All in the wrist. All right. Oh, hmm. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. That's close to the edge, so if he... That was one for the ages. If he decides to knock it off, I'm kind of screwed. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that was. Hmm. Although it does put me in a pretty bad position, actually, so that's not actually a... That wasn't actually all that bad of a play. Shit, no, 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 I shouldn't have let go. Ah, missed the mark a bit on that one. Shut okay. up. Nothing to it. Okay. I'm gonna try to hit his off. Shit. Oh. Eh. Lucky shot. Oh. Well done. You beat me. Oh. Oh. oh my god. That was close. How was that still on? Bit of good luck. That's all. I'm. It was calculated, yeah, for sure. I'm not lucky, I'm simply better than you. Oh? All right, fine. You're right. You're better than me. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, 
you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Oh. Oh, wow, that's just harsh. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Cool. All right, it's complete side quest, 10 out of 10. I mean, there's more, obviously, than just those. <laughs> There's a ton more, um, but we get the reward anyways, which is a, a leprechaun hat. Okay, well, it's whatever. Uh, there's still a bunch more side quests left in the game, but that's all of the ones that are in my quest log currently. Which means the only thing that's next to do is um, the the main quest line. I mean, obviously there's um, like the quests like sitting around in like Hogwarts and like Hogsmeade and whatnot, like on the map, but... I'm not going to concern myself. The cross one's duel is to beat. Okay. Um, I'm not going to worry about those right now. I'm more concerned about the things that are in my quest log, like I said. So, I guess next episode, we'll get back to the main quest line. But, for now, that's where I'm going to leave this episode. If you enjoyed, uh, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode.